hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome so as most of you guys know with my previous channel um, that they took down because I breastfed I lost my baby boys birth and like labor vlog that I did that you know I took you guys to the hospital with me I lost all that um, because I didn't get a chance to save it before they deleted that channel so today's video is basically going to be the labor and delivery story. I'm just going to kind of tell you guys as much as I can remember and like I'm going to include a bunch of pictures that I have from when like after I gave birth and like a couple beforehand. Um, I'll include a picture of me when I was like like looking the most pregnant that I was. Um, I tried to like look for the best like bump picture. But yeah, I'll include that, and then I have a little note card here, and again, I'm going to include as many photos as I possibly can so you guys can see uh, how precious he was when he was born, um, and how different he looks now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe. So, I, if you don't know, um, throughout my pregnancy, I did have blood pressure issues at pretty much Every single time I went for a checkup, I had really high blood pressure. Um, so they did put me on medication for that to help, but it honestly really didn't help because still every time I went, I still had high blood pressure. And getting toward the, the, like, the end part of my pregnancy, um, it was obviously a concern. And they... I had, I had this normal doctor that I went to most of the time. I think, like, two other times I had to see two other doctors. One was a man and one was this older woman, um, which I didn't like at all. I didn't like going to a different doctor. Um, I just wanted the lady who I'd been seeing to be my doctor who delivered my baby, which she ended up being. Um, but the other two times she was booked. And so I had to see a, a guy doctor and then I saw a lady doctor. And um, the lady who she wanted to induce me, but she was like, like backed up on like you know, doing other people, and so she, she didn't, it was, it was a stupid kind of reason, um, but that's, like, basically what it was, she just, she couldn't do it because she was booked up with other people, and so the next week when I went back, um, my actual doctor was like, we're gonna induce you, and I was like, yeah, the other lady had wanted to, but she was, you know, full, and she was like, well, I think I can squeeze you in, um, and it wasn't, like, I didn't have that much longer anyway. Um, my due date was August 7th, and this was August 2nd um, that they decided that they were going to induce me. And so she basically was like, um, we're going to induce you today, so go home, pack up, and go to the hospital. And of course I was freaking out because I, I didn't think I was going to be induced. I just thought, you know, since the other lady didn't, then I, you know, I knew she wanted to because of my blood pressure. But it was kind of frightening because it was just like, go get your shit and let's go. <laughs> and so I was trying to call my dad and my grandpa and my sister who had just been in town literally left that morning to go back home. I was so bummed. Um, but yeah, she left and then I was calling my dad and my grandparents trying to get a hold of them, which I never ended up getting hold of them till like I was actually at the hospital. Um, but yeah, should I call everybody? And I was trying to get we have a dog. Um, we have a little puppy. Not a puppy. He's a small dog. He's a Boston Terrier. And we had to try to find him somewhere to go because my dad was actually in the hospital already um, for injuries from his feet and all that. That's a whole other thing. Um, so he didn't even get to be in the room with me. He didn't even get to see my child while I was there. Um, I had to wait till I had to end up getting him, you know, checked out from the hospital. But yeah, um, so yeah, we had to try to find my dog a place to stay. So we ended up doing this little puppy play place where they take care of your animals because we had, we were like you know we're trying to have a baby so we need to get this done so we got that done and then we went to the hospital when I got there I was super nervous we took like the elevator up uh, to the baby floor very secure and when I got there you know I got in my robe and then they kind of did or they were doing like contractions and she was like do you feel any of this and I was like no I didn't even know that I was having contractions, um, but apparently I was. 
So yeah, they ended up inducing me and they put whatever the heck into your cervix so that it opens it up. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, after a little while, you know, goes down, time is passing and I start feeling like more and more pain. So they came and gave me something um, to like help with the pain and I thought that I was high. <laughs> I like looked at my husband because I don't do drugs. <laughs> I was like, I feel high. And I was like, you can hear my baby. I was texting my best friend and I was like, yo, it's some good drugs. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was high. And then um, ended up time going back a little more. I couldn't sleep. I was just in pain and uncomfortable. And I ended up going to the bathroom and the little thing that they have gave me um, fell out. <laughs> And so that was that. Um, my cervix had, you know, opened up a little bit, but you're supposed to have it like all through the night and that didn't happen because it fell out. And so of course they kept coming in and checking my cervix to see like yada yada yada. Um, still in pain, so they came again and gave me some more stuff, but at that point, you know, the pain was getting worse and that just wasn't, you know, doing it for me. And eventually I just turned to my husband and I was like, I can't do this. Like I'm in, I'm in, I'm in pain, like I can't, I can't do this. Um, and of course he doesn't know what to do because he's not going through it. Um, and yeah, he just went and tried to like get the people to give me the epidural, but then they had to give that big bag of water that you have to like, they're the fluid you have to go through the entire bag pretty much before you get an epidural. And so that was a real bummer. <laughs> um, cause I was in pain and I was just, I was so upset and I was like, I, you know, this, this hurts. Like I, I, can't do this like I'm done like I can't I'm out I we're not having a baby like I can't do this um eventually you know the fluid all that stuff was good so they came in and gave me the epidural and that was just very uncomfortable and I don't want to cry because it was just it was a lot of pain I was like looking at my husband because there was absolutely nothing that he could do and they would like have they had me sit up and I was like sitting up and I'd have to take a breath whenever I had a circuit or whenever I was having contractions and like, you know, they would, they put the freaking needle in my back. Um, it's not anything that's like calming and comfortable. Like it hurts and it's a very uncomfortable situation to begin with. Um, but you know, after that and they laid me down and after a little bit, I couldn't feel my legs at all, which was supposed to happen. But I was like, I, I can't, you know, I can't feel anything. So that was really awkward too, because basically I was like, they had to put, um, the little thing in, like when you have to pee, like how they, I don't, the syringe they put into your, your pee area because they're, they're like, I don't know if you have to pee or not. And as soon as she like put it in there, like I was peeing, um, cause I couldn't feel any of that. Um, I didn't know if I had to, you know, go number two. I didn't know. Cause like, I just couldn't feel anything, you know, down below which is obviously what it's supposed to do, but that was super weird. Um, and then, you know, they came in and it was my regular doctor and she was like, are you ready? You know, cause we're there and I've, I spread my legs and all of that. And in the birth video, it looks super weird because she was like shaking me and like trying to get me to push, but I, I absolutely couldn't feel anything. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if, if even if I was pushing, like I, felt like I was trying, but according to them, like nothing was really happening. So I kept, you know, trying and trying and trying. And eventually my OB did have to get like the little suction cup thing and stick it to my baby's head and yank him out. Um, so that was weird. That was definitely weird. And he did have like a mark on his head from that for quite a while. My husband swears he still has it, but I don't think he does. Um, so yeah, that was definitely pretty weird to I know some people have like the vacuums to get the baby out but no mine was a suction cup to the head and she she yanked him out so that whole part was definitely weird again my husband can't do anything so he just felt weird the whole time he was videotaping um but yeah I did get like a cut in it so she did have to you know sew that up um which I I mean, I don't know how bad it was or anything like that. She didn't really talk about it. She, uh, you know, she just 
sewed me up and, and that was that. Um, and then this is where I'll include all of the, like, the newborn precious little baby pictures. But yeah, I do have the hospital band of this. So yeah, I have the little hospital band. I have like a little memory book that has like some information on it. But yeah. The little hospital band and then I have his little card that says, I'm a boy. And then it says, baby, it says mother, me. And then it says, date of birth. He was born on the 3rd. I got induced on the 2nd. And then the time was 8.08 .08 in the morning because I remember texting everybody and I was like, I'm a mom now. And of course, they're like, congratulations and all that. Yeah, so his weight was 7 pounds, 8.6 ounces. His head circumference was 13 and a half. His length was 19 and a half inches. So yeah, that was what my little boy was looking like and of course I did breastfeed um still do but that was definitely a weird thing as well so yeah at that point I was trying to breastfeed and like they teach you to like squeeze it and do all of that stuff uh we had a couple of hard times trying to get him to latch um eventually it went okay but like he throughout like the stay of being at the hospital um he, he wanted to nurse, like, the whole entire time. And they never took our baby away. I don't know if they don't do that or do that at your hospital, but he stayed with us in the room, like, pretty much the whole entire time. Um, so I didn't really get any, like, chance to sleep. And, of course, the nurses are always coming in. So I was, like, drained so bad. Like, I don't know. I just, I, I wasn't getting a chance to sleep. He constantly was trying to nurse. Um... And him being in there, like, non-stop, like, they didn't really take him away besides, like, his first bath and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it was really hard for that. And then not having, like, my grandparents came to visit. Um, if you guys don't know, my mom passed away in 2013. So, not having her, you know, for all of that was really, really, was really hard. Um, it's, it's still really hard not having her to, like, ask stuff to or you know, just, you know, not having her to, to see my baby boy grow. Um, but I do have my dad, uh, but that, during that time, he was in the hospital because he had broken his feet, um, and it was, a, it's, it's a constant thing. Um, so he didn't even get to come and, like, see me. They wouldn't let him. He was in the same hospital, and they wouldn't let him, you know, come and visit because it's all very secure and germs and all of that kind of stuff. So that was really hard, and I had to wait, like, a week or so, um before I had to go, well, my husband went and picked him up and brought him home and he could actually finally see my son. So yeah, that whole thing was pretty hard, just not having, you know, the people I, I truly wanted, it, you know, to see my son, like my sister. My husband's family had come down, so we had them to see my son, which was really great. Um, but yeah, I didn't have a super hard time with anything. I mean, of course there's pain, there's always going to be pain, and there's uncomfortableness, and there's stuff going on with your body that you don't, you know, get or understand until you, after you have a kid. And I remember when I could actually finally start walking, because I did do some to like the back part of my butt, and I had to have like a donut. I sat on a, a donut that my husband had to go buy for like two months, because I was just in pain every time I sat down. Um, I remember when I finally like walked to the bathroom and saw my stomach and that I was no longer pregnant. I like bursted into tears because it was weird and it was just like, what? It, like, what? Because uh, it was definitely, it was just weird because I, I mean, I knew my baby was like, literally I could see him, but it was just weird to see your body not being pregnant anymore and still having the weird skin. And I mean, I still have weird skin and stretch marks and all of that type of thing. But yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys his little feetsies. 
So these are his like first footprints that they did when they put him on the thing. They're precious. They're so tiny, tiny little feetsies. And I will include any other pictures I have right here. But thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.